I really feel like uh, it's an overreach. Now to the state house where a new proposal would prevent cities and counties from regulating rental application fees and security deposits. The bill introduced by a longtime Meridian property landlord appears to take aim at a Boise City ordinance which caps how much a landlord can charge for an application fee. Boise City Council President Pro Tem Lisa Sanchez pushed that ordinance through years ago after hearing a number of complaints from tenants who felt like they were be being taken advantage of. Our Joey Prechtel talked to her this afternoon. And Joey, if this proposal passes there at the State House, what happens to the Boise City Ordinance? Well, Mark, it essentially becomes null and void. Now, I was able to catch up with Lisa Sanchez earlier this afternoon, who told me that she thinks this legislation is actually heartbreaking. This legislation would add fees and deposits to the list of items local governments could not regulate or control. Representative Greg Furch represents District 21, which is South Meridian and part of West Boise. The landlord turned legislature introduced a new bill which would impact his professional life. According to our partners at the Idaho Press, Furch has been a property manager for 24 years. While he disclosed this to his colleagues, he says he's not alone in supporting this bill. It does affect me, but there are uh, specific landlord organizations that are interested in this legislation also. It's not clear where he owns property, but the bill appears to target a City of Boise ordinance, which put a $30 cap on application fees in 2019. We decided to put an ordinance in place to provide some limited protections to renters. There aren't a lot of protections for renters in our city. Lisa Sanchez is the president pro tem for city council. She was the driving force behind passing that ordinance. It seemed to have worked really well. Like I said, so far we have had no complaints. And she doesn't approve of this proposed legislation. I find it to be rather heartless. There's just no other way for me to put it uh, where somebody who is obviously very self-serving um, in this bill. During the bill's introductory hearing, Furch gave one reason why he is introducing it. Let's say Boise sets a policy and limits something, but Garden City doesn't, or um, Meridian doesn't, or CUNA doesn't. We're, we're trying to avoid a patchwork of individual city ordinance that would muddy the waters. Basically, he says he wants one statewide policy for consistency. But Sanchez says this legislation will harm the most vulnerable across Idaho. I would really hate to see the very small protections that we have for renters to be swept away with, with this type of legislation. Now, during the hearing, Furch was actually asked if he's aware of any other city or county that has an ordinance that would be impacted by this legislation. He responded by saying none that he is aware of. Now, this bill was just introduced yesterday, and we did reach out to Representative Furch to hear from him and ask him a few questions about this bill and about, you know, potential conflict of interest. He didn't respond for several hours, but then just about an hour ago, he actually did email me back saying he just gotten home, eaten dinner, and was checking his unread email emails for the day. He then apologized for the late response. Now I followed up. I emailed him back asking if he would like to say anything or provide a statement for this story. But at this time he has not responded to that. So we're going to keep an eye on this bill and see if and when it does get that full hearing. And when that does happen, Lisa Sanchez told me that she does plan on testifying against the bill. Back to you. This will be an interesting one for you to follow and tell us about Joey. Thank you.